Earlier in the program, we told you about the year-end press conference held by Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders, wanting to highlight all the successes for the service this year. However, most of the time was taken up talking about gun violence in the city and the problem trying to curb it. A look back at police activity over the last year, and most will see the scenes where shootings have taken place in at-risk neighborhoods. That's despite the successes Police Chief Mark Saunders wants to point out. Target gun, gang and drug activities resulting in hundreds of arrests, thousands of charges and the seizure of hundreds of guns, millions of dollars of drugs and proceeds of crime throughout the year. The chief would like people to know more than 800 guns have been seized. And yet the city has seen more than 460 shootings this year, above and beyond last year's numbers. Not exactly a successful run. Street gang violence is the top priority all the time, but I, I, I will say uh, there appears to be more prevalence of firearms in the city. We are arresting people uh, quite often. Project Community Space was the focus this fall, a $4.5 million 15-week program to try and curb gun and gang activity. The chief speaks about the need to partner with others to prevent incidents before they happen. But when City News spoke with community advocates throughout the year, they weren't happy. If this is a success, I'd like to know what a failure would have been. But uh, we have a lot of work to do. These type of things erupt in the city. This, everybody gets in an uproar. They throw a little money, a little bandage on it till it quiets down and then they move on to something else. Our government, uh, the citizens seem to be focusing on, you know, gun laws and things that don't really affect communities like this. So we knew, people that work boots on the ground, that this is only continuing to get worse. They look to the police for solutions, and they're saying it's not happening. What do you say to that? I could take you into communities that will tell you the opposite, that we have a strong relationship with them. And, and I will agree that there are levels of frustration. Uh, the funding needs are something that, that is always a concern uh, from all of the, the baskets that I, that I speak about. Those baskets belong to more than the police, he says, but he hopes the cooperation continues so he can try and win those communities over. Chief Saunders also took the time to look forward to 2020 as well. He said he wants to hire 341 new police officers to replace those that are leaving. He also wants to add more resources to improve public safety and obviously add to the neighborhood community officer program as well.